It's really fun. Karina Navarro loves being a part of this Idaho Youth Adaptive Sports Camp at Fort Boise Community Center. I like how it has other kids in wheelchairs. This is her second year as a camper, and this time around, she got to try her hand at archery. It was awesome. It was really challenging, and I like challenging stuff. Over on the tennis courts. So fun. We found eight-year-old Gavin. This is the first time he's had the opportunity to play wheelchair sports. I am forehand and backhand. Spencer Heslop is shooting hoops in the gym. It's an absolute blast. You also get to learn a lot about yourself. He used to be a camper, and now he's a coach. Exposes the kids to, to sports that Sometimes they don't really ever get a try. I like this camp because it teaches the kids about what's out there in the world. They do everything from hand cycling to swimming, canoeing, fishing, adaptive uh, uh, wheelchair tennis, basketball, and rugby. These are the two women who make the camp happen for campers ages 6 to 19, Emily Kavorek and Christine Walsh. Camp volunteer Jeffrey Sparks nominated them as seven heroes. If it wasn't for these two ladies putting this on every year, uh, these kids wouldn't have this opportunity to do all these different sporting events. They're just two very special ladies dear to my heart. It's a wonderful partnership between Boise Parks and Recreation and St. Luke's Elks Rehab. We couldn't do it without those two organizations um, sponsoring the camp. We have these wonderful volunteers that um, put forth a long week. We have excellent coaches that have been coaching for 20 plus years. These ladies know this camp is bringing joy and making a difference. You see kids leaving here with smiles on their faces and they're brighter and feel stronger and more confident. Emily Kavorek. It's just really heartwarming to see the kids just grow and realize what they, they can accomplish. And Christine Walsh. I'd like to see the camp grow even bigger if we can in the future. Seven's Heroes.